we're going to show how to configure your Palo Alto device to send logs into QRadar's log activity section. This use case was provided to us by Kevin Caro from uh, Nexum. So the first thing that you need to do is go here on the device tab and uh, under ser uh, server profiles under syslog you're going to add a configuration. The name is going to be Curator, and we're going to add here, we're going to put the same name, Curator. This is the address of the, the, the uh, Curator box, 172.16.60.1. Dot 10 in my case. We're going to change the protocol instead of UDP, we're going to make it TCP, otherwise, you're going to get some of those messages truncated. And we're going to go back to this section now, but for now, let me close it here to show you a website whose link is in the show notes, uh, the video notes. And in here, uh, you're going to find a couple of definitions that are rather important. Uh, so if we go back to the configuration we just did on the custom log format, you see that we have a couple of entries here, config, system, threat, traffic, and HIP. And those are the sections in here. But notice that they are not exactly in the same order. So be careful because you're going to have to be doing copy paste. So you're going to be, uh, for example, taking the traffic in here. Uh, you copy that and you're going to go here under the traffic section and you're going to paste it right here and then click OK. Then you go to the next section on the website, which is a threat. So you do as before, you copy that and you go under threat and do the same. And you repeat that uh, those steps for HIP, config and system. So. As you have all those fields populated, you got your syslog server ready, you click OK. Next, you go to the Object tab. So we click on the Log Forwarding and we're going to actually add a configuration on the name Default. And what you're going to do in every one of these entries is actually select Curator. So basically you are specifying um, that, that all the messages informational from informational to critical go to Curator and if you want uh, to do something different obviously you configure it here. And if you have a wildfire, uh, you can actually forward those uh, log events as well uh, to Curator. When you're done, you click OK. Now you need to go to Policies. So you're going to go to the first Policy and under Actions, you're going to say on the Log Forwarding instead of uh, none, you're going to specify the default. It's going to go to, uh, to Curator. You're going to do the same for this one as well. Send to default and you're done. Now with this, all your rules based events, when they're fired, they're going to be sending events into Curator. Now we need to do uh, something similar for the system events of the actual box. So we go back to the device tab. So we go here under log settings and we're going to populate these uh, four sections in here. So we're going to say, well, informational events. So you click on it and go under syslog and select curator. You do the same for the low, medium, high and critical. And then you go to the next box. You click here and basically select on the syslog again curator as before. This is very uh, simple. And you do the same in these other 
two boxes as well. Actually, we don't need to configure these alarm settings there. So we are done from this part. Now, we go to the network section. And click on their zones and we go and for this we need to specify also that the syslogs go to default which is a defined for curator same with this one and we are ready to commit Once we get the message that the commit is successful, we should be seeing in Curator events already from Palo, and here they are. It's that simple.